The country will move forward maintaining the trend of development and achievement, says Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. Brunei Sultan Hazi Hassan al Bolkir is scheduled for a state visit to Bangladesh from 15 to 17 October. Corona vaccination program for children at district and Pujara level has started today. Assalamu alaikum, welcome to my TV news. I am Farhani has been with you in the newsroom today. Watching headlines now, the details. The country will move forward maintaining the trend of development and achievement, said Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. Mentioning the country's people as her strength, the Premier said Bangladesh can overcome the global recession like Corona. The Premier said this while speaking at the meeting of the Executive Committee of the National Economic Council ECNEC in Capital's NEC conference room today. Later, six projects at the cost of Taka 7,018 crore were approved in the meeting. After the meeting, Planning Minister M. A. Mannan told the reporter that the Prime Minister has ordered strict surveillance in the commodity market. Brunei Darussalam Sultan Hazi Hassan al Bolkia is scheduled for a straight visit to Bangladesh from 15 to 17 October. The Sultan will make the visit up an invitation from the Prime Minister and the President of Bangladesh, and this is his first visit to the country, said Foreign Minister A.K. Abdul Momen during a press conference at the Foreign Ministry. The Foreign Minister also said that five modes, including bilateral aviation agreement and manpower export, may be signed during the visit. Meanwhile, the foreign minister said about war between Russia and Ukraine, Bangladesh wants the war to stop as soon as possible, stating that there is no need for anyone to be worried about the Bangladesh election. The foreign minister said that foreign ambassadors should stop protesting about the country's affair. Secretary Obadul Kader said this during a briefing at the Secretariat today. Obadul Kader mentioned that the Bangabandhu's daughter, Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina, never learned to be defeated. She never gave up and said that Awamalik was, is, and will remain on the streets. He also said that Awamalik is always ready to face the streets and election. Obadul Kader also said that Bangladesh has a constitution and democracy and election will be held on time according to the constitution. Corona vaccination program for children and district and upojala level has started today. About one crore children will be brought under vaccination in the 12-day program. After that, one day only district and upojala level children aged 5 to 11 years who are out of school will be simultaneously vaccinated at the community level across the country. The Department of Health reported this information on Monday. Registration of children of this age limit has been started through Shuroka web portal or app. The Supreme Court Chamber Judge Court has upheld the order of the High Court regarding the submission of salary and allowance accounts of Takawasa MD Taksim Akhan. As a result, Taksim Akhan has to submit his salary account. In a view of a writ application, the High Court wants to know the account of how much money Wasa MD. Taksim Akhan uh, took along with his salary in the last 13 years. Later, the court also issued a ruling seeking to know why the inaction in removing the MD of Takawasa should not be declared illegal and why appropriate steps should not be taken to remove him. When a Taksim Akhan appealed against the High Court order, High Court, the Chamber Court gave no order. Voting for Gaibandha 5 by election will be held tomorrow. A total of five candidates, including Awam League, Jatiya Party, Bikol Podhara, Bangladesh, and two independents are contesting in this election. Votes will be taken through EVM in 952 rooms in 88 centers of Shagoto Upojilas and 57 centers of 
Fulshuri Upazila. 3,39,743 voters will exercise their right to vote. The Election Commission has installed CCTV cameras in every room along with a sufficient number of law enforcement personnel to ensure smooth polling. Thanks for being with us to join with my TV news on and visit YouTube slash my TV news to watch all our programs. YouTube slash my TV Bangla, Facebook slash my TV Bangla. Our next bulletin will be telecast 7:30 pm. Stay connected and all of us.